Goa trip and things are getting overwhelming. I need to pack, I need to desperately get a glow up, I need to catch up on work so that everything works when I'm not here. If I don't organize my brain, I will start to spiral. So we are vlogging because it helps me be productive. First things first, I need to finish my second coffee of the day. I desperately need like a glow up, not to be confused with a transformation. There's no drastic changes happening today because I don't have the time, money or the bandwidth to do that. I just want to like shed a few layers of my skin and my hair. Yeah, things we need to do for the glow up. Number one, cut my hair. Get a haircut because it's, it's a bit too long for my liking right now and it does not have any shape. It's monsoon so it's gonna get frizzy and I could get split ends which I don't want to and it's like been like six months since I've gotten a haircut so it's about time and the second thing on my glow up radar is get a facial because yeah why not just like pamper and get a, like a fresh skin before my trip. I've spent so much money recently and I'm going to spend a lot more money in the next week or so because of the trip. So that's why I've decided to give myself a facial at home. I have a, like a pretty good routine for like an at home facial with all of the products that I have. That could be like a fun thing to do, like put some music on and just like jam out while just doing my skin, like giving my skin some TLC. While all of those things like haircut, facial like new clothes and stuff those i consider like an external glow up well those are really good and really exciting and really fun to do i've also been working on doing like an internal glow up like an inside out glow up if you will i've been going to the gym regularly for the last two months like at least three to four times a week and i already feel such a big difference in my body like i feel strong i'm lifting heavier than i have ever done in my entire life yeah like i've lost a bunch of weight i've gained a lot of strength and like I'm, I can say like I'm finally like addicted to working out which like not addicted per se but I'm like very like I'm close to getting addicted and that's something which I've always wanted in my entire life. I've also been eating very mindfully. I've been eating, I've been watching how much I eat and what I eat. I'm not restricting myself to anything like I'm just watching the portions and just like being very mindful as to who what i eat and another thing which i've been doing very 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 diligently is taking care of my skin it's not even like a skincare routine at this point it's a ritual for me it's a sacred part of my day i've gotten so like diligent and so disciplined with it that recently i've been having like a lot of late nights instead of going directly to sleep i've been taking that extra 10 15 minutes to do my skincare before i go to sleep it's like a therapy for me and having high quality products is like my minimum standard and that is where wellwell comes in who are the sponsors of today's video wellwell is a homegrown skincare brand which has high quality products made specifically for indian acne prone skin all of their products are manufactured in-house using the highest quality ingredients with clean and minimal formulations so that you get the most efficient care for your skin. My current skincare routine right now is as follows. You guys want to watch along as I do it. To start off, I use this gentle face cleanser which has alpha arbutin, glutathione and hyaluronic acid. The formulation and the actives help you to really clean your skin without stripping it while also brightening and evening out an even skin tone and also giving you a hydration boost. What I really love about this cleanser is that once I'm done washing my face, my skin feels very fresh and it feels like very hydrated and very like I just want to keep touching my skin because it just feels that good. I had a little bit too much sugar because of my dad's birthday and I'm paying the price with many breakouts on my face. Then I just go in with the toner just to tone my face. If it is daytime and I'm doing my morning skincare routine, I go in with the 20% vitamin C serum which also has ceramides plus 5% niacinamide as well as squalene so this makes it like a multi-active serum which is really great to use in the morning but the serum is really good to brighten dull skin and the niacinamide helps with uneven skin tone as well as pores and the ceramides and squalene just help to hydrate and nourish and boost your skin barrier this formulation is so fast absorbing like literally within just like a few swipes all over my face the serum is deep in my skin is very non-sticky non-greasy i've been using this for like the last three four weeks at this point and i my skin has genuinely healed so much like 
all of this it was so filled with like acne scars and like dullness and now it has gotten so much better if it is night time i go in with these two serums so after toning at night i go in with the 2% salicylic acid serum this is extremely quickly absorbing and salicylic acid helps to reduce oil production and sebum and afterwards i go in with the 10% niacinamide serum to help with just like repairing your skin uh, to help with evening out your skin tone it also helps with black hairs white hairs and pores they also have a 5% niacinamide serum which you can get into if you're new to niacinamide but once you're done with 5% and if you want to take it up a notch like me go in with the 10% serum after that I follow up with a moisturizer if it is daytime I go in with a sunscreen which is absolutely essential All of Wellwell's products are very competitively priced and what makes Wellwell even better is that you actually get more for what you pay. So if you're looking for high quality, extremely efficient skincare products to add to your routine, head to www.shopwellwell.com or use the link in the description below. And once again, thank you so much to Wellwell for sponsoring this segment of the video. It is time for me to head out and get a haircut. I also have a little, few little chores to do. I actually wanted to get like a... Uh, like i want to color my hair i've been wanting to color my hair for a while i want to get like a cherry red sort of situation but the trip i'm going is like half is half of it is like a work trip i'm going for a conference and then i'm staying extra just to explore the city and country this is not like the perfect trip to try out a new hair color maybe we'll do it once i get back there's been enough talking already in this video so let me shut up and let's head out and get my hair cut <laughs> What a failed trip! Like I went, I spent like about two and a half hours and I came back without a haircut. I did a few other chores and then I went to the hairdresser and he was busy with a different client so I waited for like an hour but then he got a call that he has like a family emergency so he had to abandon his other client to a different hairdresser to pick up after him and he rushed for that. No, no big deal like I, like I hope everything's okay with him. I just came back home because it's so cloudy that it can rain so much at any moment. I'll just have to call in and check if he is there tomorrow and if he is then I, I'll go and get it from him or else I'll have to find someone else. But anyways, where are we? Yeah, I'm home now. I'm gonna just like quickly get something to eat because I haven't eaten anything all day other than like my two coffees. I have so many chores to do, guys. It's it's like unbelievable. Like my parents are out of town for a wedding. So it's just like me and my sister and I'm having a few friends over as like a sleepover-ish. So I have a lot of stuff to get done. Like I need to organize and put the, all of this away, that away. I am so hungry and you'd think that I would make myself a meal but my friends are gonna be here in like about two and a half, three hours. So we're gonna get something to eat once they get here. So like no point in me eating right now. But I coincidentally got new protein powder in the mail today. I ordered two flavors from Cosmix. I've been wanting to try Cosmix for a while. And I got this Ratnagiri mango. This is Alfonso Hapus mango, which is my favorite fruit of all time. And I also got mint cacao because I love eating toothpaste if you will i am going to try them not them i'm just going to try one of them i did a poll on instagram and people are voting for this but i am going to completely ignore because i'm saving this for when i am like very desperate about mangoes so i'm going to try the mint cacao one right now oh my god this smells so good this smells so fucking amazing like i usually use like a blender cup but it dissolves very easily one scoop goes in and taste test time mm, that's nice i love it it goes down very easily as well 
Mm, I love it. I'm gonna drink this and just like tidy up everything and I will see you when I am doing the facial. I'm gonna do it right now because that way I'll be done before my friends come over. Okay, hi, it is editing Ruthwick doing a voiceover because the Ruthwick you're watching wanted to do a little music and face facial sort of night. I am jamming out to call by Carter. That's like been my album on repeat. Anyway, step one of the facial. We're gonna wash our face. Dance break, sorry guys. But yeah, I'm using the same velvet cleanser from before and just cleaning my face of any like excess oil and stuff. And the step two is going to be using a peeling solution. A peeling solution is basically a chemical exfoliant which just exfoliates the outer layer of your face and just helps get rid of any excess sebum, any blackheads, any whiteheads and any sebaceous filaments which I tend to have a lot on my nose. And then now I'm gonna wait for 10 minutes for the peel to work its magic and I'll see you guys once that is done. In the meantime, just jamming out to some more Beyonce. Now that the 10 minutes are up, I am going to wash my face and just the face feels new like my skin feels literally so new like all of my sebaceous filaments on my nose have gone dissolved completely i'm gonna use this exfoliating toner just to wipe off any excess residue and get any gunk which i may have left behind let it dry and now i'm gonna go in with a clay mask a clay mask is just very good to deep clean your pores get any and all gunk out of it and a little singing break but we are going to let the mask sit for 10 minutes and once that is done i'm gonna wash the mask as well kulfi is saying hi she was curious as to what i was doing jamming out and putting stuff on my face 10 minutes later i just decided to wipe off the mask and use it as like an exfoliating scrub and look at how clean and bright my skin feels that is basically the facial done now i'm just going to lock everything in with the toner and just balance out the ph let it dry under the fan and then i'm gonna go in with my moisturizer this is my holy grail moisturizer and just apply a bunch of it a little bit of excess of it because your skin can get a bit irritated and then that is the facial done my skin literally feels new bye it's the next day i called and checked and it's time to go and get a haircut. Finally, finally, finally. So, yeah, let's go. and I just want to show you I did not get like that like a drastic of a difference like not that big of a haircut it's just more so just like a trim and just like adding some layers and shape to it I also got like a hair spa of, of sorts so that looks like my hair is all like moisturized and nourished and like full of hydration and I really love it I am going to get ready and film a few videos the wrap up as well as I got a bunch of books, really exciting books. So, I want to film the haul. <sighs> it is packing time, it is Monday around what's time? What's the time? It is 10, it is 12, it is 10 26. This is a water stain. I did like a little bit of an ice rolling today during my skin routine because my skin, especially this part, is very like irritated because of the breakouts that i have i leave the day after tomorrow it's not even like in two days in three days in four days in five days it's literally the day after tomorrow i leave at about two my flight is at 5 40 pm so i need to be there at 3 40 pm like two hours before so i need to leave home at like about to max to max 230 215 actually because of the traffic it's gonna take a lot of time i'm watching my queen miss remy like literally 
like I have had this realization that like she's my favorite vlogger ever like I just can watch vlogs after vlogs after vlogs I can go back and watch them repeatedly I need to sort out all of the clothes first I literally got all of the clothes out big bag stuffed with clothes number two I got new shoes I got Comet shoes and I am absolutely in love I'm literally obsessed let me show them to you you guys are gonna flip out because it's just so on brand for me look at it it's so pretty like the flavor the the color is called tiramisu which is coffee and I it just makes sense you know the final stack of clothes final, no not final stack of clothes I have even more clothes in the closet which I need to get out and yeah it's gonna be it's so fucking overwhelming right now I'm literally gonna put you guys in time left because I cannot deal with any thoughts so just please deal with me because I'm just going to sort them out and get them ironed when I'm packing all of them in this big ass suitcase I will then show it to you guys okay oh this could work as a thumbnail like which needed ironing and now it is time to pack everything in the bag the I don't know how the room got even messier I also got this kombucha a few days ago it is the bombucha hibiscus lime kombucha and I'm excited to try I tried this uh, other brand called I borecha I tried borecha it's kombucha and I loved it and I want to try another kombucha, so that's what I'm going to do. Da. Also, a very sad news. I lost my main belt yesterday at the mall while I was getting my pants from alteration and shopping for more clothes. And I am so sad about it, guys. So sad. Like, that was my favorite belt of all time. I used to... I've been using that belt exclusively for the last, like four like three four years at least but anyways like that could also be like a little bit of a push for me to stop using belts that much because belts kind of like make your hair go back and i don't want my hairline to recede but i actually really love my haircut my sister and my mom both of them were like instead of getting like a deep like it's almost like a v cut it's not like combed properly she my sister told me to get like a u cut it looks much better and she might be right but that is a problem we'll fix sometime later let's try what the fuck oh it's sealed oh i i literally straight up drank this and thought that it was gonna go into my mouth but now there's a little extra seal cap which is great i mean I love it. Oh my god, this this tastes like the passion fruit, like a refresher from hibiscus passion fruit, refresher from Starbucks, but in kombucha form, and I love it. I think so. This video is sufficiently long enough at this point, and it's gonna be a little bit of a bitch to edit on Premiere Pro for me because I tried editing a sit down video, and I still have not gotten around to getting a hand at that and. A vlog is going to be like literally 10 times, not 10, like 20 times more harder because it's going to have like 
music and montage and cuts and edits and different sort of things and overlays and text and whatnot. I just hope I do a good job. But yeah, let me do like a little talk through the situation. So I first up have this little adapter plug. This I'm gonna keep in like my carry-on luggage just because if I need it in the moment. The shirts that I ironed, pants that I ironed. These are like my two straight fit jeans, my one formal pant and my one like cargo denim which I'm packing. One more formal pant I'm gonna pack to the side. It's like a very flowy sort of thing. Then this is also like a little cargo thing which I got. Short which I'm gonna take like as like my night dress sort of pajama thing this is also a little like shacket sort of situation to use this is a denim short which i not denim, like a cargo short which i got to explore the city like wear around during that time i got this but i don't know if i want to take it with me or maybe should i because i have so much space crochet-esque shirt which i actually really like it looks good as well and then i'm gonna pack all of my t-shirts which i'm gonna get with me i try to like not have a lot of t-shirts with me because that is literally all I wear but I'm gonna need a few t-shirts because they are very comfortable and if I'm gonna walk around the city I'm gonna get very sweaty so having like one two t-shirts with me all day in my bag I can just like change up an outfit by changing a t-shirt grey monochrome type of look which is kind of new for me I'm very much like a bright color graphic tee kind of guy I love wearing color because I just like feel really great in color I don't feel that good and wearing like nudes and monochrome sort of things this is like an oversized polo which i got from the soul store which i am absolutely in love a bunch of t-shirts i also i'm gonna add a few more t-shirts and i started wearing black i did not wear black for many years because kulfi's hair is very visible on black and i always have kulfi's hair on me and but this is like i have to i love wearing black as well We are on we are on site two. I have my daily objects tote bag. I'm gonna use this one day and then I also got this like new tote bag. I made like a little wheel, I'll put it over here, trying it out. It's also really like functional, it has like a zip pocket to it, so it's very safe as well. So carry bag sort of thing and packing a bunch of snacks to eat in case. So we have first up is Khakra. Obviously, I am of Gujarati blood, so Khakra is in my blood. Then we also have Bakarwadi. Like a bunch of different snacks, kachori, as well as I have like this uh, hot water style Maggie thing. A few protein bars. I'm gonna pack these in the easy to access suitcase. A packets of Teplas to take with me in case I don't find anything good enough to eat for one day. I'm gonna carry like all of my skincare and stuff in those ba in that bag because that will be much more like accessible for me and this over here i'm just gonna take things with me i need to pack a towel but my towel is literally drying right now that is literally it I, oh i oh i forgot to pack books oh let me take you guys along with like what i'm gonna take with me for the trip like my vacation tbr if you will i am gonna take my current read with me which is toward eternity by anton her about like 80 pages in like i read this a few days ago like i read 80 pages in one sitting a few days ago and i have not been able to pick it up ever since then like i've just been so busy packing and stuff i don't think so i'm gonna be able to take my pencil with me because i don't know like am i allowed to take my pencil with me i think so i am right random little bookmark i'm gonna take kaikai by vaishnavi patel because why not like i like i don't think so i'm gonna be able to get a lot of reading done because i'm gonna be busy exploring new city and stuff so most of the reading I think I'm gonna get done is on the flights to and back as well as like if I come home early at night and if I can't sleep or something then I'll be able to read something during that time. So I'm not gonna take like that many books. I say this and you best believe I'm gonna put like around five books in my bag. More days at the Morisaki Bookshop by Satoshi Yakisawa and then I'm also gonna take White Nights by Fyodor Dostoevsky. I've heard nothing but good things about this one and I've been wanting to read this for like months so i'm very excited about it small things like these by claire keegan like literally i don't need to explain anything so the five books that i'm gonna pack with me just to have on hand and maybe read i'm also gonna have like a bunch of audiobooks on my phone so let's see how many i'll be able to read during my six day trip <laughs>
for the most important thing for the tech things one of the camera equipment chargers memory cards batteries and stuff so let's get to that now so i'm just gonna create like a little bit of a stack over here because i am like very much actively using everything that i need this memory card holder which i got for this trip specifically has like all of my memory cards and this small little SD card I still have not found that one SD card which I got which I which I kind of like misplaced where the fuck is it I have my power bank handy power bank type C to type C charging cable for the vlog camera I have my lens cap for this camera it just like covers the lens and I'm gonna make like a little bit of a packing list of everything that ha I have to take which I cannot forget so that I can make packing very easy when, it com when the time comes all of those things and my water bottle and just like my sun stick and everything is gonna go in like my backpack and all of those things I will pack on Wednesday before leaving so I guess we are towards, like not towards, we are at the end of this very long and very chaotic video. It's been so much chaos of me trying to get all of these things done. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to check out Wellwell at shopwellwell.com. I love the products. I use them literally every day. I'm carrying them with me to my trip. That is how much I love them. Subscribe for more videos. Comment down below anything you want. Say hi. I always love chatting with you guys. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.